Hey, Survival Litters, good morning, and welcome to Chapter 6 of Buried in the Sky. This is the instructional video for Chapter 6 for that. Uh, a couple of quick things as we, you know, go through, work through the bumps in the road that is Schoology. It's been frustrating for me. I'm sure it's been frustrating for you. Just breathe, take it easy. It's okay. Um, if it's not working, just come back later. Um, try to do, try to get on later in the day as, uh, you know, maybe less people are on it and, and whatnot. So just, just relax, email me any issues that you have and so forth. One thing I do want to talk about too is, is real quick is just with this whole social distancing thing. The idea behind it is that we limit contact with people and then, you know, that we, that we just limit the chances of, of contracting or passing um, the virus to each other. Please adhere to that, listen to that, do that. Don't congregate with friends. Don't get in groups. Um, just don't. Because this, the, the idea is if we don't do that, um, then we stop the spread of the virus and uh, this, you know, the sooner we can get back to normal. And that's what we all want. We want to get back to finishing up, hopefully, school in, in school. Um, hopefully, we can get back to our activities, sports, whatever it is and just get back to normal life. So please adhere and listen to social distancing and the stay at home. All right. Um, real quick, one uh, quick uh, update is I have a new phone number to use. So if you really need to talk to me, um, you know, email me and say, Mr. Gunnarsson, I really need to talk to you. Can we set up a phone call? And here is my number. This is, this is different from what I had last week. But 218-248-6042, uh, you can talk, call or text that, and I will uh, get back to you, all right? So that's my new contact information there. Otherwise, uh, if you're not signed up for Remind, please get signed up for Remind, all right? I cannot stress that enough. Please get signed up for that. Okay, we are, um, we are looking at, uh, we're getting into... Um, chapter 6. We've gotten through Chapter 2 of Buried in the Sky, which is really more history about the mountain. Uh, now we're going to get into the 2008 expedition of things. So here we are in Chapter 6, and um, here you have the, the PDF. It's a short chapter. It's only 11 pages. Very short chapter. Okay, so here's the PDF that you can read. Here is the audio video of Chapter 6. And then here's the reflective quick write. Now, one thing I want to point out with the reflective quick write is as I've graded these, um, you know, some of you are doing a great job. Others, you need to get more detail. I'm getting like three and four word summaries here. Okay, you should have about, I don't know, anywhere between four and six to seven or at least four or five bullet points of main events that took place in the chapter. And they need to be sentences, okay? You need to have detail from the chapters. I need to know that you've read the chapter. If you're just providing three or four words, that's not enough. you got to give me detail, okay? Same thing with the thoughts, um, writing down two thoughts. Just, it's just two thoughts. What did you think about what a character said or did? What did you think about something that happened, survival tactics, this or that? Give me two thoughts. Again, full sentences. Uh, two questions. What are a couple of things that you didn't understand that you wanted more information on that you just didn't quite get? Write those down in full sentences. Uh, connections is making two connections to something that you've read, watched somewhere else out there in your life, uh, making a connection to the seven elements of survival that we've gone over um, and writing those there in full sentences. And then your visualization is draw the picture or copy and paste a picture from the internet in here that of something that represents something that you read. Okay, it could be, so for chapter six, they're going to talk a lot about the Gilkey Memorial. Maybe you want to go find a picture on, online about, of the Gilkey Memorial and throw that in there. And then you're going to write two or three sentences of, that, of its importance. Why was that important in the chapter? All right? And then with these, with these three questions, um, you know, just to give you a little heads up, food is, they're going to talk about food in chapter six, all right? What kind of food did they eat at base camp? You can write that there, all right? 
Then decisions. What were, what were decisions that, that one of our characters made that was good? And focus on cheering. Okay, focus on cheering for this one. What's a good decision that he made? And then what are some bad decisions? Maybe you want to focus on Passan. He's working for the Korean team, the Flying Jump. And I'll talk a little bit about that later here in just a minute. Um, but look at decisions that were made. All right? So that's the uh, that's a reflective quick write. Um, with the quiz, the reading check that's, that's in any time that you have any issues, and there's been a few people that have had issues with the reading check, if it bounces you out, if Schoology bounces you out and you didn't finish it, just send me an email or message me and remind, and I will go and unsubmit it and restart you, and I'll let you know that you're good to go. Okay, so that's not a big deal at all. You just let me know, and we'll, we'll get the reading check figured out. Okay? Um, let's see. Now, let's talk about Chapter 6 here. Uh, it starts off, there's a couple of maps involved in Chapter 6. Like I said, this is a short chapter, but there's a couple of maps. Uh, look at those maps, and it really, the uh, beginning of it deal, talks about the trek, how the climbers get out to K2. And if you saw the kind of the intro video to Buried in the Sky, there's a video about the trek to K2 that certainly go back and watch so you get a sense of what these climbers had to do to, just to get to base camp of K2. It's a 14-day um, trek out to uh, just to get there. Um, they talk about the low altitude porters. There's lots of these guys. Um, they're not necessarily Sherpas. They're low altitude porters who carry all the equipment for the climbing teams out to base camp. And it, they're going to talk about how much these porters make, insurance, um, and then what they carry, all the stuff that they carry that these Western and European climbers are bringing. Um, it's kind of interesting to see all the stuff that they, that they bring out there. And these porters um, have to carry it all to base camp. Uh, it's the, this chapter is going to deal with a culture clash. So again, you have Western and European climbers and people, men and women, um, and Korean, this Korean team, the Flying Jump, that are, that are at base camp. And it's just this culture clash. These um, Nepalese and Pakistan Sherpas and high-altitude porters have you know, they don't see this every day. So, um, you know, people watching DVD is, is that's foreign to them. Um, eating cheeseburgers is foreign to them, okay? So pay attention to that culture clash. And then it's just, along with that is just what's life like at base camp. It's going to talk about just what, they, what the climbers do at base camp, all right? Um, then the last probably third of the chapter, maybe the last handful of pages of the chapter is going to focus in on cheering. Again, we know that cheering is one of our main main characters. It's going to focus in on him, and he's really kind of ha having some internal conflict going on. He's seeing, he's there as a climber on K2, he's, and he's seeing this culture clash, and he's, he's a very religious guy, and he's really worried about the goddess of the mountain. He wants to make the goddess of the mountain happy. And uh, so he's, he's struggling with some things that he sees there, so pay attention to that. A couple of things that he's really struggling with is the Gilkey Memorial itself. He, he thinks it's a travesty. Um, so focus, pay attention to why Cheering does not like the Gilkey Memorial. That's a memorial to all the climbers who have died on K2. And then also the flying jump, the Korean team, and, and specifically the leader of the Korean team, his name is Mr. Kim. Why doesn't cheering like him? Now, the, one of our other main characters, Pasang Lama, is working for the flying jump. And cheering is really worried about Pasang. And uh, so just pay attention to those things. And um, right at the end, it's, it's really cool how it's described how the, the peak of K2 all of a sudden just opens up and it looms over everything. All right, so that's chapter six. Um, so get into that. Uh, I believe you have like four or five days to, to get chapter six stuff done, which should be plenty of time. Again, it's a very short chapter. And I just want to end this little instructional video with this. Like I said earlier, take care of yourself. All right, let's get back to normal as soon as we can. So stay safe, take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your friends. All right, have a good one, Survival Litters.